ancient trees are full of hollow spaces, promoting a wealth of species diversity, from insects to bats, mammals, birds and fungi. Now this ancient tree has been struck by lightning. You can see a scar running down the trunk. Behind that scar it's hollow and it's being used by woodpeckers towards the top and there's a really active blue tit's nest just above my head. Really lovely to see. What makes ancient trees unique as a wildlife habitat is that they are full of dead and rotting wood. And where there's wood decay, you get exceptionally species-rich communities. If you wander into a British woodland in late April, early May, you may well be confronted by a carpet of blue. Bluebell woods are always a crowd pleaser. And in fact, the National Trust has set up Bluebell Watch so people can track online where you can find and take photographs of the best bluebells. The lakes and ponds of Epping Forest are home to a wonderful range of freshwater species from insects to plants, wetland birds, and of course, a variety of amphibians. So you have a newt license? That's right, yeah, newt license. Yes. <laughs> license to newt. That's right, yes. <laughs> okay, so this is the male. You can see uh, the crest has fallen down, but it's the crest that's along the body. Uh, and it's got a nice white flash on the tail. So this is my very first encounter with a great crested newt and he is gorgeous. Take a look at that bright underbelly there, absolutely stunning. He may look quite smooth and sleek right now, but when he's courting a female, he'll puff out that crest and puff out his tail and really look very impressive, very prehistoric. Well, it's early June and I've come down to one of the many lakes in Epping Forest to see some of my favourite insects and they really are summer jewels. If you look carefully, you might see some of them buzzing around my head right now. The little iridescent flash of blue of damselflies and dragonflies as they search for a mate in amongst the iris leaves. So, when you're investigating winter trees, the first thing to look out for in bud formation is whether they're parallel down the branch or whether they form a zigzag formation. So, I'm near a tree now, which if I hold it up against my hand, hopefully you can see it's a zigzag formation. These buds are each about two centimetres long and they're very, very pointed. This is a beech tree. <laughs> 